Meta laying off about 13% of its workforce on Wednesday. That comes out to around 11,000 employees. Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel had the opportunity to speak to some of those now former Meta employees. And Ali, what did you learn from talking to them? Hi, Shauna. Yeah, what I learned was that they all felt, in many cases, completely blindsided. Now, this is a little surprising, given that the ways in which we know the company was struggling. But the messaging they were getting internally was that layoffs were not being considered by management at all. That, of course, started to change over the weekend. And what a lot of them described was a shifting work environment. Things started to be a little tense and people stopped working as much. One employee even said to me, that they stopped working because they weren't sure if they were going to be there on Thursday. So that's that was the environment they were operating in. And how did we get here, right? One of the, I'd love to reference what Mark Zuckerberg himself said, which is that he got this wrong. At the beginning of COVID, it looked like the digital ad market was going to speed up. And this is what he said, right? At the start of COVID, the world rapidly moved online and led to the surge of e-commerce. And the, and the surge of e-commerce led to outsized revenue growth. Many people predicted this would be a permanent acceleration that would continue even after the pandemic ended. I did too, so I made the decision to significantly increase our investments. Unfortunately, this did not play out the way I expected. The bottom line here, Shauna, is that we're doing this on a day when it, that actually in the markets is the most optimistic we've seen tech in a moment. But I, having spent the week talking to these meta employees, you know, stock a stock up 10% today, right? It's it's still really hard to feel optimistic about where Meta is headed, and they certainly were not optimistic either. Yeah, certainly an unfortunate uh, situation for 11,000 uh, former Meta employees. Ali Garfinkel, great stuff. Thanks so much.